safety wrist thing, Papa. Oh, I need the safety wrist on the camera? Okay. So, we have exciting news. We have built a couch in our motorhome. And, um... We, we thought about buying a couch for a long time. Um, and then, but we, we wanted something more funky. We wanted something that was multi-purpose. We wanted something that would fit, you know, uh, the space and be just right. And we looked around and we were not happy. And we got the idea to use a locker somehow and build a couch. And we found an old locker and uh, we did it. And this is what the couch actually looks like. All right, so here is the couch. As you can see, we have a locker on the bottom there that we spent some time painting. It's actually a pretty old locker. You can see from <laughs> that side how old it really is. But we made it beautiful. And then we built our couch on top of it. The locker itself, we found at some antique shop. And what we wanted was something that had storage underneath the couch is one of the things that Katie said we had to have. So. We painted it up and now we have storage underneath it. We haven't filled it yet and in fact we, I think we might take out one of these slats so that we have a bigger box but we're planning on putting all kinds of kitchen stuff underneath here. It's going to be pretty great. It's been awesome so far. It's been really great so far. And uh, we painted this beautiful racing stripe on here and uh, we really like that. We are big fans of the locker underneath so far. Um, this couch actually converts into a bed into a bed as well and we also use it as a kitchen table and we'll show you exactly how we convert it into the bed. You ready to do this? I'm ready. All right let's pull these pillows off. Throw these over there. It's over there. Okay so these these pads Katie actually made we went and we bought some really thick like five inch high density foam from uh, from Joann's. It's nice and soft, but it's super thick. And in fact, when we put the cushion on the top, we were like, this couch is really tall, but uh, we really like it that way, so that's pretty cool. This part right here on the back just mounts onto it, so it actually sits right on the, wa the wall. So let me pull this off. You'll see that we actually built a frame back there for it to sit on. We wanted it to sit perfectly at an angle, we didn't want it to be straight up because a lot of RV couches that are built in are straight up and down. And I've sat in a lot of them and I thought, these are horrible. I don't, I don't want a couch like that. And it bothered Katie a little bit because she's like, it's going to take up all the space if you add an angle. But this worked out pretty well. We also wanted it to be nice and strong so we braced it to the wall and we braced them to each other. And it sits in there perfectly, just right. And it squeezes up just right up against this port portion. So that's freestanding actually back there. But I mean, it's up against the wall, but it's not attached to the actual... Uh, the actual frame of the couch itself. Now this part gets taken off too. Thank you. So we were worried about how it would sit on there and not slide off so we built this little frame into the wood and it just sits right in there perfectly just like that. And here's how we turned it into an actual bed slash table. We have these legs here on the side we just screw them in. We got three of them here to make it nice and strong. These swing down just like this when you're putting it down so that makes it even stronger. And then the edge of this when it folds over sits on the top of the actual of, of the locker. So that gives it more strength here. It doesn't put all the strength on the hinge. And then you got of course the legs. And it folds out just like this. And there you have it. All right, so this is what it looks like all folded out. And uh, these pads that we had, that we have for the couch, they just go right back on it. Just like that. We put the other one on it just like this. And there you have the bed. Usually we cover it with like a blanket and the kids have their pillows and they can sleep out here. What we really want is for them to be able to actually lay here and we have a TV mounted over there so they can just lay and watch a show. We could pro we haven't t tested it with the slide all the way in. If the slide comes in, we think we can still bring this out 
and have it here. So maybe even they can lay here while we're driving. I'm not entirely sure, but um, that's the actual, that's the couch bed. Another thing that I really like is taking this and mounting it while the couch is actually open. And so then you still have a couch and we act, this actually functions as our kitchen table. So the kids um, and I and Katie can actually sit around here with little floor cushions, sit and eat here. It's actually much bigger than any kitchen table that we could store in the motorhome. What we've been using right now up until this point is like a card table. So this is much, 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 much bigger and much, much more space for us to sit and eat at and uh, play games at. These cushions are actually built onto a wooden frame. So there's a big piece of wood here on the back here and a piece of wood right there. So these cushions aren't just a squishy material. They're actually nice and solid on the back side. So they're not going to fall through the cracks or anything like that. They're nice and strong and secure. Another thing is this table or this, uh, this couch, the, the locker itself is only this wide and we wanted the couch to be much deeper. So we built this back frame back here so that a lot of the weight is taken up by the actual frame that we built that goes back. And inside the locker itself, I inserted wood between the slats so the locker would be really, really strong too. So, and this is bolted to the ground and this is bolted onto the locker. So this thing is solid. It's nice and strong. Cool. Do you want to lay on it? Um, we found some cool thing we're gonna do with this right here. It's gonna be so amazing, but I'll show, I'll show you guys later. Um, what I want to show you is this. We bought this the other day. This is the locker. It's just this old school locker. And we're gonna make a couch out of it. And it's gonna go right there. I still gotta put in all the trim around everything. After that. Nice. I can't really egg off the sneaker unless that I know that I think that they do. They probably are like strong. Okay. Good. So this whole thing's gonna flip out, right? Yeah. So this is gonna rest right there. And when it flips out, this will drop down. And it'll be a leg for it to stand on. Cool! Like, will we use Velcro? Nope, we'll just be standing. Yeah. 